Welcome, welcome back, everybody. You I have to get situated. Sorry. That's right. We have what a couple minutes to do it. We just, <laughs> yeah, you just caught us off guard. Welcome back to KSAT 12's live coverage of the Battle of Flowers Parade right here in front of the Alamo. We're having a fantastic time, and we hope you are too. We've got your front row seat to this year's parade. Yeah, and there's a lot of great stuff going on. We have fabulous weather and so much entertainment out here. We're going to go right now and show you the next band that's coming up. Super excited to hear from them, the San Antonio ISD Mariachis. That's right. We can take a look and see them. It's from the Fine Arts Department. Mariachi students. There you see them. The participants are actually middle and high school students from all various SIISD campuses. They began marching in the Battle Flyers Parade in 2005. As they get closer, we're going to let you listen in. Mariachi students regularly perform in community events, regional and state level contests, and national conventions. And the mariachi program began at SIISD over 42 years ago. They're playing their hearts out. There are. There are over 2,000 students actually enrolled in the program throughout the SIISD designated campuses. And look what we have here. It is time now to introduce you to the 2016 Grand Marshal, who we did in our special a little bit, Rosemary Kowalski. She's coming up. Uh, Mazursky, Polish dancers there. Mike Ostrange is standing by with this year's Grand Marshal. Yes, and I have to say, everybody looks so beautiful today, and this lovely young lady is definitely the belle of the ball. Good afternoon, Rosemary. Thank, thank you. And how are, uh, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, extremely. Yeah. This is our city, my city. And I've lived here my 91 years. And, and how many Battle of Flowers parades have you seen? Well, I started, I was in my first one. I was in it when I was uh, 12 years old. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And I was in a parade. How has it changed since then? Oh, my goodness. The, like the world, the parade. Yeah. But it's still, and I'm so grateful for all the fresh flowers that we have. It, it is beautiful. It started out with yeah. fresh flowers, remember. And, and you're going to be presenting flowers at the Alamo, and I'm going to present you with a KSAT 12 Fiesta medal, and Viva Fiesta, ma'am. It was a pleasure to meet thank you. you. Enjoy it. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Mike. Guys. Thank you so very much. You know that Rosemary started catering at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center 48 years ago. The company still has the contract. That is a true legacy. The RK Group, one of the town's best caterers. Absolutely. Everyone, and they have catered to some pretty famous people. Well, uh -oh. Leslie, the waves of Texas are upon you. Oh, they sure are. This is a wave healthcare. Actually, we're going back to Rosemary for just a second. Yeah, because we, we have so much to share with you. There she she has served 90% of the VIP events in San Antonio from Hemisphere 1968 to now on the 2016 Hemisphere Conservancy Board as well. She began her astounding career with Uncle Ben's Barbecue. I didn't realize it was Uncle Ben's Barbecue that started it back in 1946. I, I didn't either. Today, the Arcade Group, as I was saying, she created some multi-hospitality company. All right, there you see a big giant. Is that? This is the wave. This is the wave of Texas is upon you. We're getting a big old wave there. If you do it properly with the... Uh, I was going to say, I can't, he looks a little bit... Like, what's his name from Toy Story? He does. Uh, Tom Hanks is <laughs> Woody. 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 Why couldn't we think of that? Woody. Was, that's why I was looking when that looks like Woody. This is the waves of Texas are upon you. This is from Wave Healthcare, and it's a perfect afternoon to get him waving here. Today, they sponsored the uh, pre-parade children's picnic at Maverick Park. It provided parade seating for 200 special needs children and their families, and the food was provided by our friends at Raising Cane's Chicken. They are actually a major sponsor of the parade this year. And they have come forward and done so much to help make this happen for all of our enjoyment. Now, Wave Healthcare is a pediatric respiratory durable medical equipment company, and they've served families with medically fragile children since 2009. Okay, next up, we have another high school band, and this is, uh, again, one of many we're going to be seeing throughout the afternoon. This is the award-winning band 
from Cowboy Land, McCollum High School from Harlandale Independent School District that is coming up. And there they are. They have received straight ones. That's a superior rating at UIL Region 11 Marching Contest in October of 2015. 160 members with 10 flags. Good group of kids, and they put on quite a show. Their drum major is Jesse Ramos, sister drum major Cheyenne Valdez. We'll talk about a number of awards. First place, Northside Band Festival. Third place, Harlandale Band Festival. Third place, U.S. Band San Antonio Showcase. Let's listen to them. Congratulations to the award-winning band from Cowboy Land. And the crowd is loving them this year. Fantastic job, And you job, see guys. coming up behind them, the Boy Scouts of America, Alamo Area Council, carrying the Texas flag. That's right. Big old Texas flag. Boy Scouts of America, Alamo Area Council currently serves, get this, Leslie, 25,876 youths here in the Alamo City area. Well, and our own Mike Osterhage knows a thing or two about the Boy Scouts. Yes, he's our Eagle Scout. He is our Eagle Scout. I know his boys were both, are still Boy Scouts. As well, so we appreciate them so much. The area, the area, Alamo, sorry, area council completed a new 75-acre camp called the Mays Family Scout Range in South Bear County that provides outdoor adventure for all youth. 351 Boy Scouts achieved scouting's highest honor of equal. 15, Bless you, contributing 60,560 service hours with a value of $1,397,000 invested in our community. All right, now you see the banner for the president of this year's Battle of Flowers Association, Lynn Ziegler. That's right. That's carried, the banner is carried by the Scottish Society of San Antonio, and I believe our Mike Osterhage is with her. Yes, we are right here on the carriage with uh, Battle of Flowers President Lynn Ziegler. How are you today? I am wonderful with this beautiful day and this fabulous weather. We're so fortunate. You have gone just about halfway of the parade. What do you think so far, looking at the crowd and everybody? I think the crowd is just incredible, and I think that this parade is the best one ever. They always get better and better, they don't they? Do. How has it changed over the years, do you think? Well, this is our 125th parade, and so it's just changed incredibly, grown in size in number of entries and in number of spectators and now we're on tv and it's just wonderful we're and, so excited and of course they just presented the uh, their flowers in honor of the alamo there to the uh, yes. boys from the san antonio academy and i want to present you with the case at 12 medal thank you mike and here is one of our medals oh. for our 125th parade that is wonderful and you all ladies and gentlemen look absolutely wonderful these are our grandchildren your grandchildren oh my you, you yeah. look great viva I fiesta Hey, guys. I've had the honor of 
knowing her for a while, and she is an amazing individual. She's also a fellow breast cancer survivor for more than 18 years. I'm a baby compared to her, and she has just offered so much to so many in this community. She and her husband, Thad, chaired the Coleman Race for the Cure, actually, in 2010, and were over $1 million raised to help with research and for those fighting breast cancer. All right, we are moving on now to former presidents of the Battle of Flowers Association aboard one of Via's trolleys. This is the 2016 Honorary Grand Marshals of this year's Battle of Flowers Parade. Their banner carried by the Bear County Czech Heritage Society. Founded in 1991, they participated in the parade for 19 years. They are dedicated to the preservation of Czech heritage and culture. Now, since the inception of the Battle of Flowers Association back in 1891, 82 women have served as president. There are currently 19 living former presidents who the association honors by their inclusion in the parade. The association, of course, is indebted to these leaders for creating the foundation on which the association continues to build. We are so honored to have them with us today. And the tro trolleys have been around San Antonio for a very long time. And coming up next, we have our honorary grand marshal, Major General Angie Salinas, United States Marine Corps retired, Mike. And she is right here on the carriage. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Well, what do you think? What's your impression of Battle of Flowers Parade, 125th year? Oh, my gosh. These incredible women who have managed to do this for 125 years, the third largest parade in all of the nation, and the only one done completely by women volunteers. What better role models for the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas and the United States Marine Corps? Exactly, because she is the CEO of the Girl Scouts of South Texas. And to add to your beautiful pins, there's one for you, ma'am. Enjoy the parade. We will. Thank you. And best wishes to everyone. Via Fiesta! Mike, thank you. Selena served in the U.S. Marine Corps for 39 years and was the first Latina promoted to general officer ranks in the entire United States Marine Corps. And he mentioned Girl Scouts, so she was an alum, of course, and she is a role model to girls and women seeking to break through the glass ceiling. Next up, we have uh, Texas Heritage Riders here from Texas Pioneers. Their mission to promote the Texas heritage and enrich people's lives through their horses and bring joy to children through riding. Their greatest honor is to proudly display the flag of the United States and the flag of our great state of Texas. And they proudly lead the annual San Antonio Military Veterans Day Parade, and they're honored to visit schools and also to educate children on the important role horses have actually played in all of our lives. We've got Billy and Brenda Harris out there, Edgar and Kathy Dodson, Gerard and Sharon Rogers, Gary and Monica Snow, Jay and Alyssa Carnley, and Jody Campbell. Thanks for coming out today, guys. And of course, as always, when you have horses, you need Super Scoopers. Yes, you do. We understand this group is uh, Harlandale High School Student Health Advisory Council. Kayshak, first year to participate in the parade, but uh, providing, providing a vital part of our parade. And there you see a banner for what? Commissioner George P. Bush, Texas General Land Office, caretakers of the Alamo. And, and Mike's with him. Yep. Yeah. Commissioner, first of all, welcome San Antonio. Your first Is this your first uh, Battle of Flowers Parade? It is, and it's uh, what an amazing uh, adventure. This is the most festive uh, event you can find in the great state of Texas. And such a parade to pay homage to the Alamo and all those fought there, and now the Texas Land Commission is in charge. What do you think? What are your plans for the Alamo? Well, we've got a lot of exciting news in store for San Antonio in the coming years, but uh, we're excited with those news that we'll release later this summer. But we're going to reimagine this whole experience for tourists and for San Antonians alike, and we're, we're super excited to work with the mayor on these issues. But still, once a year, all of these people here to, to pay honor to it and have a great time at a parade, right? Nothing like it in Texas. Uh, I've had a chance to visit just about all the, the aspects of the state, and this is uh, truly special. Wonderful, sir. Thank you very much. Thank Welcome. And there's a case at 12. Before you good seeing you, sir. Enjoy it. Mike, thank you very much again. Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush participating in today's Battle of Flowers Parade. Well, we've got a whole lot more to come, everybody. We do need to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more coverage of the 125th Battle of Flowers Parade, live from Alamo Plaza.